2016 Corvette and you're watching the Corvette channel. Hi everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be changing out the side marker lights on my C7 Corvette. Now right now um, the original side marker lights are in the fenders, okay, front and back. I've already changed the ones on the on the passenger side, so this way I could kind of give you a close-up of the difference of what they look like. Um, so you can see here that here's my my rear one, the front one here, as well as the new ones that are the dark tinted ones, and these are the ones that have LEDs all the way up here instead of just the one little light up at the top of each one of these lights. Now, very, very simple to do, and I'm going to show you how to go about doing it, um, but I do want to also point out that there's really no way to get these things uh, mixed up. They are marked left and right, and, um, and you'll be able to tell by which one is which one is which based off of where the connector is. So like in this case here, I am happen to be holding the red one here in my hand here, and this one is the match to it as you can see. You can see that they go, the plug-ins are at the top. And if we look at the, the amber ones, the amber ones, the connectors are at the bottom. I mean, you could flip it around either way, but when you go to look at these, the way the curves are, they only can go one direction, so there's no way you can get these confused, okay? Um, they do plug in exactly the same, so even if you did and you plug it in, just test it with, you know, with the lights on, make sure you get the right color. But um, they're, they're coded, so you're just not gonna, that's just not gonna be a problem for you. Um, now, let me tell you a little bit about these first. Um, I have been wanting to do these for a long time, and, um, just I haven't reached out to any of the sponsors. Uh, they're you know they're pretty expensive, um, and I was able to find these on on uh, eBay, and I was able to get them for about hundred and twenty five dollars a set. Um, and so I bought a set for my car. And I bought a set for Jennifer's car. And here in a minute, once we get done me showing you how to change these. I'm going to pull the car over and I'll pull her car up alongside this one that ha and her car hasn't been done yet. So you'll be able to see literally what this one looks like and what hers looks like at the exact same time. And then after that video, I'm going to end up changing hers out. I'm not going to bore you with, I'm just going to show you front and back on one side. But um, you know, those of you, any of the, any of the different companies that make these, the, you know, um, if, after watching this video, you'd like to be able to sponsor the channel. Send me a set of your, uh, you know, your markers uh, because you think they're better or whatever. I'll do a comparison video, and I'll be able this way. If you honestly believe that yours are better, and that's why you charge more, then send me a set, and we'll put them in the car, and we'll see. We'll compare the two of them and see how it goes. Okay, so. Um, I just had never reached out to any of the any of the uh, the makers of the these lights, so these are uh, you know uh, the cheap knockoffs that that you get you know overseas and you can get off of eBay. Um, but like I said, there's uh, I know there's a lot of different companies that are making these. I have no idea. I'm not being sponsored by these at all. I can't tell you whether or not they're going to last me five minutes, five seconds, um, nothing. The only thing that I can tell you right off the get-go is when I did the other side, <clears throat> the pins, that the, the plug-in pins here are not lined up just right. So you have to take a screwdriver and you can look at the original, uh, the original light and you can see exactly where the pins are, where they're lined up inside the socket and, um, and you can just bend this bend the tabs in the inside here to get them to line up. It didn't take much to do, but you just gotta be real careful that you don't over twist them or, or bend them where you don't end up breaking them off. But other than that, um, we'll show you here in a minute on exactly how they look. We're gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, see if I can get a light up into the wheel well here and get the GoPro up nice and close so you can see it. 
again, it's very, very simple to do. It's something that you know, we can do on the floor, um, and it won't change whether you buy these or you buy the, the better, uh, better models that are, that are out there. They hook up the exact same way. So I, I'm just assuming that most likely their quality control on the other ones are going to be better than these, and they will, the pins will, will just plug in. So, um, I mean, that's a, that's a guess on my part, but um, that's, that's what I'm assuming. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna jump into this video now, uh, get these things changed out, show you, some of the, show you the difference of what it looks like, and you guys can be the judge. Hopefully you like the video, and uh, we're gonna jump into it now. I'm gonna try to get over here kind of out of the way so you guys will be able to see this a little bit better, and I'm hoping that the GoPro is zoomed in a little bit better also. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna, there's the three torque screws here, and I believe these are uh, T15 torques here that we need to, we need to uh, take out. Now, you notice I've got the, uh, the wheel turned inward, so this is the way you want to do this. Uh, if you're, when you're doing the other side, you would turn the wheels the opposite direction. You just want to be able to give yourself a little bit of room so you can move this, this inner liner out of the way a little bit. So hopefully my, my hands aren't totally blocking all of your your view here. Kind of get my head in the way there, so just enough so I can see what I'm doing. To, so you guys can see this. So obviously, it'll be a little bit easier for you um, when you're doing this because you won't have to be dealing with the camera. Okay, so now what you do, you got these three screws out, you can just pull your fender out just a little bit. Okay, just like so. <laughs> this one came loose a lot more. That's okay. Let's pop that right back into place. So now you've got this kind of in the here just wide open, right? And there's just some clips you can reach up in there and take them out. Now let me see here if I can get that in there. Let's see, I don't know if this is gonna actually show you guys anything. As you can see there's the plug-in right there. And you guys will actually be able to see this a little bit better here in a minute anyhow, once I get this pulled out. There's just, uh, just some little clips you can reach around and push them out. There's three clips. There's one at the, each end and one in the middle. And it just comes out, just like that. Now, at this point, there's a little lock pin right here. It's going to pull this up like so, and then it will come. Then you, once you pull this out like that, you push down on the same latch or the same little pin, and it comes right out. And I'm just going to use a little bit of window cleaner here. like so. So now at this point, let's see how this thing plugs in. So are we going to get lucky? I'm not sure. So we're just going to take that, we're going to slide this right back over. And this one plugged right in. So maybe it was just a, a freak thing on the other side, but that did not do that before. It, I had to constantly move the pins around until I got to plug in. Now at this point that's locked, I'm just going to press this little, little gray tab down in there and we're good. At that point, all we're doing is we're just pushing it right back in the hole. Like that. Pull the cover off. And this side, we just got to put the screws back in and we're good. Now before I go and do that, I have my remote for my car, so I'm just going to activate the lights. You can see right there that they work. Okay. So that all we're going to do now is we're just going to go ahead and we're going to put the screws back in. We'll tuck that liner back in there like so. Okay. Put the screws in. 
and we're done with this one. And then we'll move on to the back one. But I just totally love the look of these. These it gives the car a little more contrast. Um, you know, I've seen. I've also seen some that they are. They're making them now that are the same color as the car. Um, or just they just kind of hide. I, I I don't know about that. I like kind of like the contrast of it, but I didn't. I wanted them, you know, blacked out. So this is the reason I went this way. vehicle now and um, I just wanted to touch base here we're gonna have to take this mud guard off now this one is an ACS XL mud guard um, and I swear by these things they are great um, but this isn't gonna change if you still have the factory mud guard on this one's gonna come off exactly the same way so the, the GoPro is trained on the screws down below here so it'll be able to get those screws as I'm pulling them loose um, and then this just pops pops loose. So very very simple, but I can tell you what if you don't already have a set of these mud guards Front and back you need to be looking into those because I tell you what that will save this paint. I can tell you that right now so anyway um, Going down here and hopefully the the camera now down here is catching this. We've got three screws here um, This screw right here on the inside edge is the one that you're going to take loose. It's a seven millimeter screw and this one you're going to take completely out. Okay. Now the other two, you don't have to, but it just makes it this mud guard to slide out a little bit easier. I just loosen the screws a little bit. Again, you don't have to, but that's just my preference. Okay. Now at this point, this will slide out. These all along here are all done just with clips, just like the factory. So this just comes right off, just like so. Okay. Put that off to the side, we'll get that out of the way. Then we're going to take our T15 Torx again. And you can see right here, guys, that there's one here and one here. Okay. So notice I took the extension off. I've just got the little stubby here because you're going to need a little bit of room because we're not, we're not taking the tire off. So hopefully try to stay out of the way of the camera so you guys can see this. Get these screws out of here. Just like so. So like I was saying, this isn't hard. You just take your time and uh, it's a couple steps, not a big deal. that and then we can pull this inner liner just kind of out of the way again there's going to be a clip here here and here I'm show you that right here on this one you got a clip there in the middle the end so that's all we're going to do we're just going to reach up in there hopefully it will cooperate cooperate with us and then we've got the one in the middle here so we can pull these loose you can see right there that it'll come right out. You're just going to pull that little, that little locking pin out and push this down just a little bit and it'll come loose. Okay. Now again what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray a little bit of cleaner in here. And I'm just using glass cleaner. You could use anything you, you, know, anything you want. You can just use water for that matter just to get the dust and the dirt out of it. So, not a big deal. Okay, just like that. Now let's see whether or not this just plugs right in or not. And you can see right there that it's not wanting to go in totally. So, 
it's close. Okay, but you want to make sure that it does does lock. So at this point, we've got to bend these little tabs just ever so slightly. Because you don't want to force them in so much that you end up breaking them. And this is what I was talking about, guys. If we can get, if we could get <clears throat> one of the one of the bigger companies that makes these, um, get them to send us a set. We'll be able to do this type of comparison. We'll be able to tell because you, you obviously you can see I'm having issues here. So we've just got to get these things just right. And it just takes a little bit of doing. There we go. You can see right there, it wasn't that hard to do that, but it just takes a little bit. So then before I snap it in place, again I'm going to use the remote on my car. And we got nothing. So you can see we don't have that, now it's working, but we don't have that socket in there just right yet. So I'm going to take this loose, pop it loose real quick. Make sure that we've got a good connection in here. And then it's going to lock in place. And I'm going to wiggle this jack around and make sure because I don't want this thing to not work on me. Okay, so let's reset that. Okay, looks like it's working now. So then at that point, this is kind of a tight squeeze getting this socket to go through here. So. Just kind of have to wiggle it in there, just like so. Clips in place, pull the covering off, and you're good to go. So then at that point, all we're doing is we're just going to put the screws back together here. Put those little guys back in here so our fender is not falling apart. So then we're just taking our, our rock guard and you'll see in there that there's a slot right here where this little guy goes right here. Okay, and you're just going to put that this little this little tongue here inside that slot and then that way it'll get pinched between the bumper and its screwing point and then that way it'll hold it from the bottom. So again, I covered this uh, in, in great detail. In another one of, I have a couple different videos where I've done this on different cars, and um, that's how they how they hook on. So um, you know, I'll put a uh, I'll put a link to that in the video so you guys can watch that. In case you guys haven't done that, um, then you'll have it. Okay. So let's see if we can get right where we need to be here, just like so. Okay, and then we've got our. 7 millimeter screw down here. Like that. Tighten these back up. And you guys are good to go. So now, we've got our lights. So, it's that simple guys. Okay guys, so here's my car sitting out here in the driveway, okay, and Jennifer's car is sitting right here and you can see the difference, you know, definitely a difference in what those look like. That's the factory, there's 
the aftermarket ones. Those are the LEDs. Those look cool. Let's take a look down here. This looks really nice. It puts out a nice little glow out there off the side. And you can see that this thing just kind of barely puts a little bit of light out. Major difference. So, I definitely like them. That's for darn sure. So, I mean, take a look at that. It's just one nice big long line right there, and you just see there's just a dot on the other side. Kind of crazy, huh? So, So here's the finished product with Jennifer's. And you can just see a major difference on how that looks. So guys, I am totally excited about these. These look great. So guys, there you have it. You saw me, uh, showed you how to do them on the driver's side on my car. Um, I did both uh, my car and Jennifer's car and filmed this video in about an hour and a half total. So that's all four on both cars. So you, you know, a total of eight lights, um, taking them apart, putting them in, and I had to adjust every one of the pins. I think out of, out of eight of them, there was only one that I didn't have to totally adjust. So that, I would venture to say, is going to be the biggest downfall of these. I don't know what they're, uh, how long they're going to last, um, but you know, I paid $125 for them. So that kind of gives you an idea. Um, so I know some of the, the, the well-known companies, uh, they're double that, sometimes even a little bit more. So I have never had any of those in my hand. I can't tell you how they feel, if they feel any different, if, they, if the plugs plug in any different. But if any of you guys that wa are watching the show today and you guys happen to know or are part of the manufacturers that do make these and you want to send me a set so we can do a comparison, hey, I would love that. I would really love to be able to show whether or not it's worth that money. And, and most likely it really is. Every time that I, I deal with couple different types of companies and the prices are much cheaper usually there's a reason for that so so anyway um, if you are one of the manufacturers you'd like to sponsor the channel for for that episode or from now on that would be wonderful like I said reach out to me uh, the Corvette channel at gmail.com and uh, we'll see if we can get something going and I'll be able to do a comparison on your product and this one so that would be really cool to be able to do for you guys. So um, anyway, uh, I'm tickled to death. They look great. Like I said, it took a little bit of work to put them in, but nothing, nothing too major. So guys, thank you for watching, and you guys have a good night. Oh, don't forget, I need you guys to subscribe. Hit that bell button. That way you'll be alerted when I put up a new video. You know, we're getting pretty darn close. We've got almost 4,000 subscribers. We've got about 22,000 people that are watching the shows all the time now, and um, you know it's it's awesome. But in order for me to be able to get sponsorship for the channel, the manufacturers they want to see the subscription numbers. And so if you guys will subscribe, I know there's a lot of you watching you're not subscribing. So um, you know if you don't know how to go about subscribing, I know there's a lot of you just don't want to do it. But if you need help. Feel free to reach out to me. I will be happy to walk you through setting it up. It only means that you have to get a Gmail account. Once you do that, it's then it's super simple. It's literally just hitting the subscribe button. So, um, yeah, like I said, if you have any issues at all, please feel free. You can message me through the email, 
or you can, if you're part of our Corvette channel on Facebook or Instagram, you know, message me there. Let me know, hey Scott, I'm having a problem. I want to subscribe, but I just don't know how I'm having an issue. Whatever it may be, let me know. I'll be happy to help you. Those of you that have reached out to me and asked me for answers for just about anything, I will not BS you. I'll tell you what I know. If I don't know, I'll tell you. So, you know, those of you know, I'm about as honest as I'm going to possibly get. So, anyway, if I can help you, I'll be happy to. All right. So again, thank you for subscribing. If you have, if you haven't, please go ahead and try to subscribe. And guys, again, thank you for watching. You guys have a great night.